hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me again <laughs> um i'm going out for some dinner tonight and i thought i would film me getting ready so i'm not going to be doing too much as especially hair wise because it is raining so i don't see any point um so yeah i'm just gonna film me get ready i'm just gonna go in with a number seven face wipe just to clean, clear my face and then i'm gonna go in with my paula's choice so i'm not entirely sure on what I'm going to be wearing tonight because it keeps raining um, and I don't really fancy um, being cold, Ugh, I hate being cold. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Ula Hendrickson Bright Banana Bright Face Primer. is to prime my face. I'm thinking of just having my hair scraped back like this and I'm gonna just try and like focus really on my ooh, on my skin. So first thing I'm gonna do is go in my concealer as like I always do and just kind of conceal ooh. Um, all of the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. I just bought myself a new tripod. My brushes. Yeah, I just bought myself a new tripod, a smaller one, which is a lot better, um, especially for just having it on my worktop. I was having to use one and have it at the side and it was getting a little bit inconvenient so i'm then gonna go in with this the xx revolution skin glow thing i'm not entirely sure what this is but i really like it as a base just kind of adds not really a layer of coverage but i feel like i need to take this off my dressing gown there you go um yeah so it doesn't add necessarily much coverage just some more glow i have like a bit of redness in like texture here which is a bit annoying but i think for foundation i'm going to use this nars one it's the sheer glow in the shade strong Bowley, and i'm just going to actually get it out of the lid because there's a lot in there okay flat brush in there so i went shopping today to tk maxx and picked up some steels from zara um which i'm really happy with they were like 12 pounds for some dresses and if you know Zara pricings, they're always like £30, £40. So I was very pleased with that. So that's the foundation. I'm going to go in with a sponge. A creasing. I'm gonna actually use a different one. I'm gonna use the this one. Oh, look, is it a bit too pale? I'll be fine, I'll warm it up. I'm gonna use this one by Revolution just under my eyes to brighten them up a little. 
and down the bridge just a little bit. And then I just use a brush to blend. So I'm actually not drinking tonight as I'm going to drive in um, because I can't be not drinking. I don't want to be hungover tomorrow so I'm just going to drive which I'm not that bothered about really. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job at Take it down my nose. This is the misguided stick thing, the contouring stick. And then I'm going to get a um, sponge. Okay, my face is too pale. This spot's just appeared randomly this, this afternoon, which is wonderful. And I'm going to go in with my blusher, so this is by Ghost, I think I got this in a magazine, <laughs> I think it's actually a lip product but I like it, it's blush. My storage just got full. Okay, so I think that, that is okay for now, I'm just going to actually set Um, set all of this with some powder and I'm going to use a translucent one underneath for my eyes and just going to let that sit for a hot minute just under that in the inner corner and down the bridge of my nose and I might just actually put that here and on my smile lines and on my forehead because I get a very oily forehead I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute whilst I do my eyes so for my eyes I've been really really enjoying just doing quite a subtle eyeshadow with like a burgundy um, like a plum colour Morphe 25B palette. Um, just make sure that they're not all creased. And I'm just going to go in firstly with uh, the this one. Just mix them two together. And just kind of like set the eyelid. But actually, I kind of fancy doing a bit of pop eye colour because mm. I think I'm wearing a black dress let me look on Pinterest and I'll come back okay so I'm going to do a ooh. I'm going to do a pop of orange in my inner corner but first I'm going to just take um, an eyeshadow on a more like defying brush and just kind of like don't think I'm, I might take I'm taking the Riviera palette and the shade 
today and I'm just gonna kind of like I'm just kind of like carve out my socket a little bit just to add a bit of colour in and maybe just like wring it out a little bit and then get ah uh, get a big fluffy blending brush and just kind of like buff it out going with my beauty bay palette and the shade let's go in with tangerine dream first on a brush like this so this color and pray that this goes okay and again a bit of heat wave as well We can come back and add more. So for the wing, I'm gonna take a angled brush and the shade Palm and just really gently and carefully draw a wing. Might go with a darker shade from the Morphe one might be okay. Take the black and just deepen up in there. Okay, I'm gonna go back actually into the orange and just add a lot more colours, well colour, make it really vibrant and blending as we go. The inspo for this from had purple underneath but I don't think I want to add purple because I think it might look too dark okay i'm gonna leave the eyes for a minute and do the brows a little bit scattered but whatever so i'm just gonna fill them in a little And just brush through. I'll show you as well the dresses which I have just purchased. So I got them, like I said, from TK Maxx, but they were actually Zara, which is great. And I got three, and they were all twelve ninety nine, which for a Zara dress is not bad and they all fit really well it's the one thing about zara is i think that the dresses fit well and still got a jizz so uh, yeah like i said i'm not actually doing much with my hair i'm just going to scrape it back into pretty much this style but a bit neater just because it's the weather's so temperamental. I mean, it's not raining now. I'll see what, how long I've got as to what I do with it.
right, brush all this off. Oh, yes. I washed all my brushes last night that I've been using. And sometimes they take longer than expected to dry, but they're all dry, which is fantastic. So to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to take my infallible powder and just buff it in. Like I said earlier, I'm quite an oily skinned person, so it doesn't make much of a difference if I, like if I put too much powder on, it doesn't really make any difference because it will, my skin will shine through soon. So I'm going to put blusher on, with blusher and bronzer and all that, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, which way I put them on, I just kind of stick them on and hopefully also my fringe um, and then instant vacay I'm gonna go with the darker shade at this time just warm up my face and then on a clean brush taking the lighter shade and just sculpting down my nose Set with some sports fix. So for under the eyes, I'm gonna just go in with this brush that has a bit of orange on and just go really closely to the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush, like this, and take the shade Tangerine and just blend that under as well. And then for the... Do you think this is smokier enough? might just deepen up the smokiness by going into I think this mm, th threat I think maybe first and just kind of deepening up this wing and we'll see about eyelashes because mm, I'm not sure yet I always do going with my um, slick flick eyeliner. All right, right. So I'm gonna go with this one first. This is the Maybelline Sky High. I'm going to go in with my NARS Climax. The Shimmer Squad by Lottie London. Take, a, take the Queen B. Okay, so just my lower lashes. I don't want to get them, get mascara everywhere. Kind of didn't want to wear false eyelashes. I just have a little bit more. Right, I'll go get my new clothes and I'll show you. So, this, this is what I 
God. Also, do you like my bag? Baby, the future's ours. It's from Alfie Day's Future Self Collection. It's this huge tote bag. I love it. It fits so much stuff in. Um, and it has a pocket inside as well, which is always handy if you put in, I don't know, to the beach. So the first one, which is a potential contender for tonight, is just this plain black kind of like velvety material um, with this cute little crystallized diamond button and it's kind of like a skater skirt style i'll put it on and show you yeah so this is what it looks like mine's a mess and i was just thinking this belt looked quite cute with it just to add something but it's too um big but yeah and i was thinking that maybe these boots would look okay I don't know if this is too much. Show you in the mirror. So looks like this. Hmm. The hair up or down? Okay, so this is what I am going for. So I actually did do my hair. I used the other styler thing that I got from colour wow and um, I quite like it actually it feel, makes my curls feel a little bit more sticky which I guess if you're somebody like me that has quite flat hair naturally it will work so yeah wearing this dress um sorry I, I got this show you quickly I'm in a bit of a rush now but I got this pink dress can't you see and then I got a leather dress as well so yeah if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again with a video on friday thanks for watching